Hello folks, welcome back to our weekly Neovim plugin videos. Um, so this is a series in which we are covering one Neovim plugin per week. So this week we're going to be covering a uh, plugin that honestly I haven't used very much, but uh, it is pretty neat. It's called Harpoon by the Primogen. Thank you, the Prime. And uh, so this in this video we'll be covering how to install Harpoon, uh, how to configure it, and we're going to configure it in such a way where we use Telescope which is a plugin that we configured, I think it was about a week or two ago, um, to show us the menu. And also we're gonna go through some very basic usage commands. There's a lot that Harpoon can do as far as managing terminals and Tmux sessions and things like that, but we're only gonna cover file management and file, file tracking in this video. All right, so what does Harpoon look like? Let me turn off my camera here. Harpoon kind of looks like this. This is the default menu that you're gonna get. So. It's going to give you a list of files that you have marked. Um, so in this case, I have marked utils.lua and setting.lua. And so when I invoke my, my key mapping to uh, show this menu, it's going to show me the two files that I've tracked. And uh, that's really all there is to it. When we configure it, it's going to look a little different just because we're going to configure it to use the telescope extension instead, instead of this default menu. So let's go ahead and hop to it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and switch over to my other project here. This is my init.lua, and uh, I use Packer to install plugins, so I keep all of those use directives for Packer in a file called plugins. So we're going to use telescope up here, and that's leader ff for, for me, and I'm going to search for plugins. All right, so there it is, and you can see a preview of the file up above. So I'm going to hit enter to open that file, and uh, capital G to go all the way down. All right, so here are the lines that uh, I added to install Harpoon using Packer. I'm gonna uncomment these lines using GC and uh, make sure I don't comment the wrong one. So that one, uh, I'm gonna comment that one and that back. And I only need this last line, use the Primogen Harpoon. All right, so that'll tell Packer to install the uh, Harpoon plugin from GitHub. All right, great. Now that we've put that line in there, we still have to configure our plugin. So I'm going to save this and open up another file called plugin configs. That's where I keep all of my configurations. So I'm opening that file up with telescope. And then, uh, so this is a big file for me to look at. So I'm going to code fold some of these lines using Z capital M. So that'll fold the code blocks into some kind of nicer looking lines in my opinion. So all I see now are the top level require directives. All right, so kind of go to the bottom here and you can see that I've already added a few things to configure Harpoon. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just uncomment them. So I'm gonna select that entire block here and uh, hit GC. All right, so some pretty default settings that the GitHub profile or the GitHub repository has suggested. Save on toggle. We're not gonna, that just means, do you wanna mark files when you save? In this case, I do not. Um, do you wanna Do you wanna save on change? Yes, I do wanna save. Well, every time I change a Harpoon file, I wanna save it. So if it's a marked file and I save it, or I'm sorry, if it's a marked file and it's, and it's changing, then it's gonna save it. Um, so that next one is not going to apply to us. Enter on send CMD uh, because we're not going to be demoing the terminal functionality in this video. Uh, same with the Tmux functionality. Excluded file types are the file types that you want Harpoon to exclude. So you don't want to mark them. You don't want to search them, etc. Mark branch is one that I like. Um, it just means that you want to set a mark you want the sets of marks to be different for each Git branch that you are checked out or that you have checked out. So for example, if I'm checked out on the main branch, make my marks, and then uh, I check out another branch, a feature branch, um, those marks are gonna be independent from the marks I've made in on the main branch. So I set that to true. And some tab line uh, stuff that we're not gonna be using, so set that to false, great. All right, so, and then at the bottom here, you see another require statement, require telescope load extensions harpoon. That's gonna tell us to use um, telescope 
instead of the default UI menu when uh, traversing the marked files. Okay, so now that we have that set, uh, let's set some key mappings. So open up telescope here to open up the key mappings uh, file. Open that up. And here uh, you can see here at the bottom, I have already some key mappings set. So I'm gonna go ahead and uncomment those, GC. And the key mappings that I have set are leader key, harpoon X, harpoon N, harpoon P for previous, and then HM for harpoon marks. And that'll show us all of the marks files that we have. Um, so let's go ahead and save that as well. Those are our key mappings and we should be good. So let's go ahead and uh, reload NeoVim here. Okay, this is an okay message. It's just telling us that we're trying to configure Harpoon before it's installed. Hit Q to quit that. And then we're gonna do a Packer, whoops. Get rid of this here. Packer install is what we're gonna do. Okay, and then it's gonna install Harpoon. Hit Q to quit that. And let's go ahead and reload new of them again. All right, so now that we're here, let's go ahead and try some out some of our key mappings out. So, uh, harpoon M or HM for uh, showing our marks. So in this case, we only have one mark, init.lua. Okay, and you can see that we're using telescope as our picker because we loaded that extension. Great, so let's mark some files. All right, so I'm gonna quit this. Um, yeah, quit that and let's see. Go into the two most or the three most common files that we use in these videos. Key mapping is one of them. To mark a file, our, our key map for that was HX. All right, so let's open up HM again. And you can see here that key mappings now shows up on the list because we marked it. Awesome. All right, well, let's mark another file. Let's mark uh, plugin configs because we used that one quite a while as well. So HX to mark it as well. Let's also mark plugins, HX. All right, so let's look at all of our marked files. HM, to look at our marked files, you can see here now I have all of the files that I frequent most often saved in a list that I can easily traverse, that I can easily uh, cycle through. So that is how you mark files and that's how you view your marked files. Now, if you wanna go back or forward between this list, it's very easy to do so. So let's cancel this list. You do HN to go next, HP to go back. So HN, 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 that'll just cycle forward. HP, 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 that'll cycle back. And you can kind of see it here in the um, uh, NeoVim tree that I'm cycling only through the files that I've marked. So let's try that again. HN, whoops, HN. Let's actually focus the window. HN, HN, HN. You can see that I'm only cycling through the files that I've marked. So key mappings, plugin configs, and knit.lua. So that's pretty cool. Say you're working on a certain feature and you only have a few files that you're working on then uh, you can mark them, cycle through them, and uh, you can show them on telescope pretty easily. I like Harpoon a lot. I think I'm gonna integrate it into my daily workflow. Now, the reason I'm not showing the Terminal and Tmux integrations is because I prefer some other plugins for that. Like for example, for Terminal, I use Toggle Term. You can see here I use one of my key mappings, Control Slash, to open up a terminal and I can send commands to it. I can op open up multiple terminals if I want. So if I wanted another terminal, I can do that. And uh, so that's why I don't really need Harpoon to cycle through terminals. All right, so I think that is gonna end this video. We are gonna go ahead and uh, end it here. And uh, yeah, see you guys next week.